when will games look like in real life and how graphics will look like in the future. We've all seen all the major improvements in graphics over the past two decades. Everything in, is in full detail. Every small rock, every tree, just everything already feels like real life. At least most games do. In fact, it's already comparable to real life right now based on graphics, but it still looks 2D. Why is that? And when will games look fully like real life? When will that achievement happen? Right now, we have some limits. Mainly the technology for gamers. Game developers can already make 3D games with real life lighting, 3D effects, and real life detail. It's just that for the average gamer, it's too expensive. Even the best of the best PCs right now can't run it. It might seem like how light works isn't a big deal, but it does take a huge toll on your hardware capabilities. Light in real life is super hard to recreate because it bounces, and there's different types of light, like the sun, a lamp, or the sun through window blinds. That isn't the only reason it doesn't look real. One huge thing are definitely facial features and emotions. The human face has 42 muscles. It's super hard to virtually imitate that, especially for multiple people during that duration of the player's game. That would be impossible for both the game creators and the users. Besides, we probably won't even want that, because looking at super realistic faces can be weird, especially if it's like a horror game or something fantasy. This is why games look cartoonish. This is called Uncanny Valley. If a game looks more real, and let's say the character is floating, it's just going to scare people away from playing the game. That's why games, especially VR games, have to sacrifice realism to make cartoonish characters. There is a way to get more accurate definition of what faces look like though, and that's a Mind Maze mask. Announced by Mind Maze, this detects emotions by having detectors on the mask. The detectors find out where the muscles are touching and how much force is showing. Now, I'm gonna talk about when games will look like real life. With the technology that's improving more and more each year, I would say around 20 years that would happen. Each year getting more and more realistic. Now, this isn't really accurate because like, it's your opinion and you can define what real life looks like in a game, but that's like, when it looks camera quality, I would say. Here's why. From 20 years ago to now, games have way more detail. This is because better hardware and better software to make games. Also, hardware gets better and better for cheaper every year. I kind of compare this to cameras because they changed a lot from 1980 to 2020-ish. It looks more and more crisp. And from then to now, in fact, I feel like 2020 camera quality for the best cameras out right now are actually comparable to real life. I think based on how long cameras evolved, I think same goes for video games. Cameras capture light better over time, and by improving the megapixels, it also improves the quality. Cameras are also getting cheaper and cheaper. To get that real life stage faster, games will have to change the algorithm of the way they render and produce images. A good step up for example right now is ray tracing. It does demand better hardware. Ray tracing is a tracing of light to work like real life through an algorithm. You can look at Minecraft with and without it. It makes a world of difference. Who knows, maybe games would look like real life closer to 20 years. But do we really want it? New games in 2017 to 2020, like Fortnite and Valorant, still go for that cartoony feel because more people will just enjoy the game. Even though people might want better graphics and all, it doesn't make the game feel better. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.